Today we're going to be looking at Federal Ammunition's 158 grain jacketed hollow point chambered for 357 Magnum. So I'm actually carrying this round right now in my SP-101. 357 Magnum, around me at least, is still scarce as well as on the internet. So I've seen this quite around a little bit, so I decided to pick up a box and see how it does. Ran it through a chronograph, I got an average velocity of 1,170 feet per second, which equates to a muzzle energy of 480 foot-pounds. Federal advertises 1,240 feet per second, so we're pretty close to that, especially in a shorter barrel. Uh, I'm not really sure what length barrel Federal uses. My guess, again, would be the 4-inch barrel, which seems to be an industry standard. So let's run it through the ballistics gel and see how it does. Okay, so this is the bottom of the block actually, so let's take a look at the wound track. Nothing too spectacular, but you did get full expansion it looks like on the round. The wound track isn't all too impressive, but let's take a look. Measurements, not a very wide wound track, about a quarter inch at its widest point. Come all the way down. You can see it's hitting just about 15 inches of penetration. This gel block was calibrated to 3.1 inches. Here's our side profile of the wound track. Widest point there measures about half an inch. You can see a little bit of cutting, nothing too, too spectacular here. So my overall thoughts in this round in a short barrel revolver, uh, not bad. Full expansion, 15 inches of penetration, good velocity. Uh, recoil is, is pretty strong on this. I actually wasn't expecting it to be as strong uh, on that first shot. But otherwise, fairly good round. Wish I would have sent in a little bit more in the permanent cavity, uh, a little bit bigger, a little more expansion there. Thanks for watching.